Today we're gonna to look at a couple of different options we have towards protecting the Google Pixel Fold and perhaps even combining these two methods at the end of the video. So the first one we're gonna look at here is the real tan leather skin from D-Brain. You can see $34.99. This thing does use, as it says, real tanned leather. There is a brown leather variant as well, but I think that the tan one just looks a whole lot better. Again, $34.99. There's tons of other skins that D-Brand makes that are gonna be obviously a whole lot thinner. The leather one, in theory, should provide a little bit of extra protection towards scratches and things like that because it's just a thicker skin. I've got that ordered. We're gonna look at that in a minute. But we're also gonna look at this. This is a case by Spigen, $44.99. This is their ultra hybrid designed for the Pixel Fold. Is it Spigen? Is it Spigen? I have no idea. There's no way to know. $44.99. There is a $5 coupon. This is a nice clear case. I think that the Pixel Fold looks quite nice already. So a clear case I thought made a lot of sense to buy this thing and give it a review as well. So let's first look at the D brand Genuine Leather Skin. I am already very, very impressed with this thing. If we get up nice and close here, you can see all the different texture, the grain going on on this leather skin. And as you can see here, you can mark this with your fingernail. I mean, it's, it is real leather that's going to happen. So that's something that uh, you're going to be seeing on your leather skin. Application was extremely easy. I just used the G logo here to line things up. And it was, like I said, extremely, extremely easy to get on here nice and straight. And since this is thicker than a normal skin, maybe you can kind of see some of the thickness there. You don't really have to worry too much about like little threads or hairs, dust being on there. I would still wipe it off, obviously, but it's not like a thinner skin that's going to bubble and things like that. This is a much thicker leather skin and is therefore going to be a little bit easier to apply. It's also more rigid. That's also going to keep it from stretching and doing weird things like that. So very, very easy to apply. One thing I have been noticing, like a lot of these skins, is that the edge is quite sharp at first. Over time, that's going to just wear down from use. It's going to get less and less of a problem. But at first, yes, it's going to be a little bit sharp on the edge of your hand, but again, that should get better over time. And this thing, as it is leather, should develop its own sort of patina over the you know days and months that you're using it. So if I didn't already mention it, this skin is $34.99. It comes with this piece and this top piece there. It also comes with a nice little microfiber cloth and I can definitely say that this is probably worth the $35. It's not super grippy yet. It is definitely grippier than nothing. But with a lot of other leather skins I've used in the past, over time, they develop their patina and they become grippier as time goes on. I expect that's probably going to happen here as well. Now, the part two of this video is the Spigen, I think they call it hybrid case. This is what we have here. This is a $45 case and I was actually using it for several days before I got this skin in. But when I got this in, I just thought to myself, this case has to come off. The skin is what's going on. I think it is $45 if I'm not mistaken. It does come with some little strips of adhesive you can put in strategic places to hold it down. Although I was using it without the adhesive and it was holding on just fine. The big question now is, will this work on top of the D-Brain skin? Of course, without the D-Brain skin, this is a pretty solid case. I really have no complaints about it. It's solid. It will definitely do a little bit of work towards some shock reduction. I will say that when it is fully open, you're sort of in this position. So part of the hinge is still exposed. So that's definitely something to consider and think about. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put it on with the D-Brand leather skin still on there. And I'm gonna show you how well this either works or does not work. And honestly, it works better than I thought it was going to. You can see there that it's covered up on there. It's making a connection all the way on the edges here. What basically you're going to be dealing with is what you can see here. Some of the cutouts are going to be slightly not correct any longer because it has pushed it up and to the outside. So your microphone might be slightly degraded and up here, uh, same exact sort of thing going on. It's slightly off. But could you do this? Yeah, I think you probably could. And it actually works decently well. You kind of get the leather look, but the protection of a case. If I open it up, you can see what I was talking about earlier where there's that gap there in the middle on the hinge. Personally, I don't think I'm going to do this. I think I'm probably just going to go caseless. But if you wanted to combine the two, you absolutely could. And of course, without this leather skin, this thing's gonna sit perfectly. It does sit exactly where it should. These holes line up beautifully. And I think that this is one of the better cases 
for the Pixel Fold available on the market. So there you go, guys, a couple of really solid options to keep your Pixel Fold looking nice and safe as well. Both of these things are compatible with wireless charging. Even both of them combined, you can still wirelessly charge just fine. I'll drop a link in the description of both of them. The dbrand link is just a link. The Amazon link for the clear case is going to be an affiliate link that will help support the channel. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.